often a lot of new developers message me on Instagram asking me questions about what kind of startup projects they can do, how can they contribute to open source, and so on. Today, I'm going to share seven GitHub repositories which are a must follow if you are a new software developer who's just getting started with this journey. So without further ado, let's get cracking. So before we dive in, if you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel called Cloud Daffle, please consider subscribing to my channel. I keep sharing videos related to most recent developments in tech industry, as well as tutorials on new and emerging programming languages and technologies, especially related to JavaScript. The first Git repository that I want to talk about is called First Contributions. Many new software developers want to start contributing to open source software but simply don't know where to start from. So if you are one of them, this repository is just for you. This Git repository guides you step by step and helps you to add your name to its contributors list and by following the process, you are able to learn how to submit a pull request to the public repositories on GitHub. Once you have understood how to make contributions, this repository takes you a step ahead by giving you a list of projects which are looking for contributors and you can start contributing to them. You can also search for a project by the programming language of your choice and there are hundreds of fantastic projects that are looking for contributions. So get started. It's a known fact that to learn programming, the best possible way is to practice by building real world applications. But often, developers struggle with ideas as to what kind of application they should build. Well, the next repository that we are going to talk about solves this problem. This is the app ideas repository that gives you ideas on what you should build and learn side by side. Each project in this repository has clear instructions and user stories that you might adhere to while building your applications. Each project also gives you guidelines and resources that are needed to complete the project. All the projects are organized into different levels, including beginner projects, intermediate, and advanced level projects. There are so many options to choose from and learn. You will never be short of ideas for practicing projects with this repository. The next repository is pretty similar but unique. Once you complete few practice projects and get your hands dirty with some code, you start looking at real life, bigger applications and wonder how they are made. This is where Build Your X helps you. Build Your X is a collection of tutorials on how you can build a specific technology from ground up. All the tutorials are organized cleanly and a treasure of knowledge on how you can start with building complex software. Be it your own programming language, a bot, a fresh new database, a game search engine, you name it and they teach you how to do it. Got a unique idea? This is the place to start from. Next we are looking at Awesome. Yes, as the name suggests, this repository is a collection of awesome Git repositories based on specific topics. So you have awesome Git repositories for specific programming languages, books, content management systems and so on. You'll often find tools here which you didn't even know you needed. This is definitely an awesome place to hunt for awesome stuff. This repository is an evolving list of strings with a high probability of causing issues when used in user input data. This helps you test your application for invalid inputs by users and gives you a collection of such inputs. They have a neat example of Twitter not being able to process a zero bit space in its input fields despite having invested millions of dollars on development and automated tests. Last but not the least is a list of front-end checks. This one is my favorite. The front-end checklist is a list of checks that you need to make before deploying a production-ready build. As the name suggests, these items in the checklist are more oriented towards the best practices for making your applications ready for search engines, security, accessibility, and so on. All the checks are divided into critical, non-critical and best practices segments and you can choose the ones applicable to your project based on the scope and scale of your application. 
Have you used any of these before? I would love to know. Do let me know in the comments and do suggest some more repositories so that I and other people can learn from it. That's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.